Hey guys, just letting you guys know before the video starts, if you want to commission me to make some audios for you, um, you can follow my Twitter and send me a DM there, or um, DM me on my Discord and request it there. I accept PayPal and Venmo, and every minute is 50 cents. So a 10 minute video would be $5. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Ugh. I always hate going through this part of the forest. Honestly, why couldn't have my majesty just picked, I don't know, anywhere else? We could have gone through the nice grassy fields. But no! We had to pick the dark spooky forest for a shortcut. <laughs> Stupid, dumb royal. Honestly, he was right there. The offer was so tempting. It was right there. Just just one little right. And we would have been with some, you know, gumdrops and rainbows. I wanted to meet a unicorn. But no. Now I gotta travel through this nasty swamp getting mud all over my tail. All so my majesty can meet with a stupid king and settle a war. It's not like we even need to anyway. We're dominating. Their soldiers can't even compare to ours. Mostly because they're all human and, well, this army's mostly composed of monsters. Still don't get why people hate us. I mean, what? We're just like other humans. We just have other extra features. Like my amazing tail with such intricate patterns that those dumb humans would never understand. Except my majesty. I quite like them. <laughs> <sighs> hmm? Oh, Majesty, what are you doing out of your carriage? Get back in. Look, it doesn't do me no good to protect you if you're wandering out of the protection area. Besides, the centaur's pulling the carriage. You don't have to worry. They're strong in their own right. Huh? No, I don't. What is this question coming up now? No, I don't mind that you're a human. Look, I don't judge. You can be human, vampire, naga, centaur, kitsune, whatever. Look, it doesn't matter. You're my majesty, I'm a guard, and I'm going to protect you. That That's just how it goes. Not and I respect you as a person. Well, me and you share similar ideals. You want this war to come to an end and to help all monster kind. I share the same goal. Although me and you have different ways of accomplishing it, I would just slice them all down. So maybe it's better that you're the one in power and not me. I don't think I'd make very good choices. Hmm? Oh, no, I don't resent you for taking over the kingdom. Why would I? You saved us from destroying ourselves. Honestly, with that Kitsune in power, we are leading down a very dangerous path. Where they were saying, let's destroy all humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't really on board with it. I think humans and monsters can exist together. As long as humans stop groping my tail. That's right. Run off, little scamp. Ah, oh, that really gets on my nerves. Well, I don't care if you do it, but random people coming and touching me is weird. I don't like it. I get it. I'm supposed to be nice to the servants. But they could also stop groping me. It bothers me. They're lucky I don't bite them and inject them with venom or cut them with my sword. Oh, yeah, I can carry it with my tail. It's not very hard. I'm good at gripping things with it. <laughs> yeah, see? Ta-da! <laughs> it's not a hard thing to do, you know. Hmm? <laughs> My name. Oh, I guess I suppose I never gave you that, huh? I'm just generic guard, number three. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. If you really want to know, my name's Vax. Yeah, Vax. V-A-I-E-X. Vax. 
my how did I get my name? Um, well, you see, I'm the son of a blacksmith. And well, we have very unique names, let's say that. Well, my father, he's also named Vakes. And my grandpa before him was named Vakes. And so on and so on and so on. All the males in our family are named Vakes. And all the females are named Anna. Honestly, why couldn't I have a more normal name? But whatever. What number am I? Vakes the 13th, I think? Or 14th? Uh, you, he, you tend to lose track of it, and I don't really put stock in it. I'm not of royal blood, so why would I care? <laughs> well, I mean, technically you're not of royal blood, but you're a royal, so that counts for something. Well, I mean, you took over the kingdom after the last Kutsune fell, and so that's got to count. I mean, you've led this war really well. I mean, before they went right at our castle gates, but you pushed them back all the way back to their capital. I have to say, I'm heavily impressed. You are a monster on the battlefield, <laughs> if you get the joke. Yeah, other humans just fall like crippled paper. Would not want to get on your bad side, I can tell you that. Hmm. Huh? How do I feel about politics? I tend to stay out of that subject. I don't know enough. I'm aware there's other parties and courts and other people who want to take control of the kingdom from you, but my job is to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> <clears throat> and speaking of which... Of not letting things happen. Servant, if you touch my tail again, I'm going to bite you. Please stop touching my tail. It's fine if the majesty does it. I don't want other people to touch my tail. It bothers me heavily. So if you don't want a sword through your chest or me to bite you, leave me alone. Thank you. Make, a, make them some tea, alright? Or... Service the centaurs. Get them some water. They've been walking for a while. All right? But just leave me be. Thank you. No, I don't mean to be a jerk to the servant. All right? I don't understand. They have an important role. And that's keeping us all fueled up for the journey and making sure we sleep and rest well. I get it. Just, I hate it when they try riding me. I am not a horse. It's the same deal with centaurs. They don't want to be rode. I don't want to be rode. Well, I let you ride me that once, but that was a unique circumstance. You had a sword out of your chest. If I hadn't have let you ride me, you would have killed over and died. You were lucky I was there at all, honestly. I thought about not attending that battle, but you kind of persuaded me with your legendary speech. <laughs> I have to say, you really know how to rile the masses. At first, everyone hated you, but now... They all love and adore you and want to fight for you. You just have such a way with words, I guess. Hmm? My past before I became a guard? Oh, um... I suppose you're, um... Wanting to know that. Well, like I said before, I'm the son of a blacksmith. V Vyax... <laughs> the blacksmith makes the... You know, vakes. But that's not really what I wanted to be. Uh, believe it or not, I actually thought about opening up a cake shop after those wars done. What do you think? Do you think you'd be good at selling confections? Yeah, vakes cake shop. But honestly, you're going to have so many vakes by the time of the century that your whole kingdom's going to be made of people just named vake. <laughs> hmm? Do my family look alike? Eh, not really. I mean, my father's tail is red with blue stripes. And then my mother's tail is green with yellow and brown. So, I mean, it varies heavily. My sister? Oh, um, you see, they just have a plain tail. They don't have stripes. 
Yeah, uh, just a plain tan. Well, my sister is technically what's known as a Lamia. Uh, they're known to be a little bit more stretchy, as well as tend to swallow their prey whole. But we're just gonna, you know, sweep that fact under the rug. Well, I believe she's your executioner, if I remember right. Not that you've really had to do that a whole lot. Most people don't make it out of the war. And the few prisoners we do have tend to um, turn coat. Mostly because they don't want to die. Which I can understand. Dying kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Hmm? How do I feel about becoming a knight? I don't know if the role really suits me. I'm not a great man of justice or anything. I don't really protect the common people. I protect you, and well, only you. Well, yeah, of course I want to protect you. I care about you, and I lo- uh, I mean, um, I care about my duty, and um, I, I love working. Uh, anyway, look. We just need to make sure we get out of this forest, all right, so you can have that talk with that stupid king who started a war with our kingdom. Ah. <sighs> Maybe he'll see eye to eye with another human. Honestly, I don't know. I'm hoping to close this, bring this war to an end. I don't really want to be a knight forever, to be honest. I mean, as fun as it is fighting in battles, this war has gone on a little too long, and I can tell the people are tired. They want this war to end as much as anyone else. So I'll be happy once it's over. Huh? That's a complicated question. How long will I remain in service? Um, as long as you need. I mean, if you don't need me, I'll, I'll leave you be. But if you still require my services, I'll gladly serve you. You've earned my respect and then some. Hmm? Oh. What was they going to say earlier? Oh, I was just saying I, I love work and I love protecting you because it's my duty. Yes. Uh, um, anyway, n no, I'm not blushing. You, you saw nothing, okay? Nagas don't blush. We're cold-blooded. Literally impossible. So, um, shake the thought of your head. Huh? Centaur, what's up? Huh? We're already there. And I was kind of enjoying this talk. Well, I suppose you have to go in and we're not allowed to follow, but I still think this is a really bad idea. Can you at least take one guard with you? One of us? Even the servant would be good. Look, they're Nekos. They can at least use their claws. Somebody. I don't care who it is. Me? One of the Neko servants? Or maybe, maybe a centaur? Somebody with you. I don't want to see you get hurt. So, will you please at least see about that? They're not budging. I really hope you stay safe. Uh, um, hey, uh, knock him dead. <laughs> um, dang it, why didn't I tell them? I'm such a coward. I can't even tell them how I feel. Uh, come on, Vakes. You got this. You're a brave knight. A Naga knight. Huh, I kind of like the phrase. Say that five times fast. Naga knight, Naga knight, Naga knight, Naga knight. <laughs> but okay, okay. When they come back, we'll just talk about our feelings. And we will, um... Yeah, we'll, uh... <laughs> there you are. I was beginning to feel you wouldn't show up. Ah, uh, we are really here to talk about my surrender, aren't we? Uh, I have to give it to you. You're such a brilliant tactician. However, I believe you didn't count for something. You see, you're always leading others, but how good are you in combat? Ah, yes. I did bring a sword. What did you bring? 
What is that? What is that little contraption in your... Uh, what did you... What was... Uh, 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 I came as soon as I heard the loud noise. What was... Oh. He's... Dead? What happened? I thought you wanted peace. He was gonna kill you. Ah, I see. A double cross. You know, I kinda saw this coming. Huh? The guards outside? Oh, they tried to kill us, but um... Yeah, that didn't end very well for them. <laughs> I threw one of the I threw one of the neckos at them, kind of like slingshot of them with my tail, landed right in his eyes like cleats, clawed them out. Oh, it was so awesome! Uh, uh, oh, right, uh, sorry. Here, let me pick you up. Ooh, he looks like he nicked you a little bit. Um, don't be weirded out by this. I'm just gonna. Ugh. Blech. Human blood. Blech. Well, let's see. Yes. Ha <laughs> mm, ha. My saliva's not very good for big wounds, but nicks like this, it works. Oh, it's, um, it forces your body to clot. That's all it really does. It has some healing properties. Basically, um, the venom in my mouth, it, um, basically forces your body to go into overdrive. Yeah, most people think Naga Venom's like, slow down. Yeah, no, that's not how it works. It basically causes you to have a heart attack if you get too much. They're thinking about Vampire Venom. That slows you down. Naga Venom speeds you up. And when I say speed up, I mean your heart. So yeah, now your body's clotting a lot faster. I'm sorry if that felt weird. I know my tongue's really long and weird and slimy. So, sorry about that. Huh? Oh, yeah, I suppose we do have to make a speech soon about, um, you know, the king being dead and your takeover of these two kingdoms. Uh, um, I didn't get to tell you earlier, but, uh, um, uh, why is this so hard? Uh, uh, um, your majesty, I... Okay, I can do this. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get it out. Just, uh, give me a moment. This is, um... I'm normally a very prideful person, so this is a little hard, but... <sighs> Your Majesty, I've served you for the betterment of three years at this point. You've been a gracious and wonderful ruler. I've had the pleasure of serving under you. And while at first I didn't trust your intentions, I... I grew to trust you, then see you as an ally, then... as a friend, then... those emotions only grew and grew as stronger until I saw you more than just a friend. I... I wanted to protect you with all of my being, even though I hate being a knight and I hate fighting, I... I just wanted to protect you. I didn't care who got in my way, I would cut them down. If only to see you smile once more. When I was working under that Kitsune ruler, I was miserable. I was forced to constrict against my will. Forced to fight. But you... You never forced me. You gave me plenty of chances to leave. You gave everyone a chance to leave. But instead of fighting us or yelling at us for being incompetent or mean, you rose us up, raised us, and showed us how strong we can be when we stand together. And I admired that. I wanted to be you so bad. I wanted to be the shining example of what you are. And then... I started, I started to crush on you, and slowly and surely I, that crush turned into love, and I started thinking about things, things no guard should be thinking about their majesty, 
Think of all the things we could do together. Maybe on a picnic bench we, we could eat. Or, or maybe we can share some sugars. Or, or even maybe we could share a kiss. Which I know is really inappropriate. And I know it's above my station. But, but I, I love you. A lot. I love you more than anything. I love you more than cheesecake. And cheesecake's amazing. I... I need you in my life. I don't know what I would do without you. So... You don't have to return my feelings. I understand, but... At least... Huh? You... You feel the same? R really? Oh, yay! Yay! Oh, my God. Mm, of course I'm coiling you. I'm so happy. I don't mind if you touch my coils. You're my majesty. You're my... My... My one. Mm. You sure know how to make Kanaga very happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>